I'm Ashleen Kaino from the My Best Self Project and welcome to your daily Tyroscope forecast for Monday the 26th of November. So we have a lot of cards today. The universe wanted us to get a really in-depth message because bonus cards were flying out everywhere. So this is going to be fun. But first of all, I do have a quick announcement. In honor of Cyber Monday, I have a sale going on, a flash sale on all of my pre-recorded personal readings. So they range from 10 minute readings all the way to 45. The 10 minute one is normally $18. You can get that for just $10. The 45 minute reading is normally $60. You can get it for 30. So see the links there for the four different options, but I think you'll be very happy with the prices. You're never going to see them this low. So if you ever wanted a private reading with me, seriously, jump on it right now because these are amazing prices. All right, without further ado, let's get stuck into the cards. So we have Ego, the Six of Water, and the Two of Water. And the bonus card that came out is Knight of Water. So there's a lot of romantic energy going on today. Um, I do feel like it's this battle between head and heart, or like fear and love. Uh, very Star Wars, right? You know, dark side and light side and all of that. So let's break this down. We have ego that says, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So this is really talking about being stuck in the head, um, really maybe leaning into the negative, leaning into the fears and the doubts and the what ifs. So maybe you've met someone new or maybe you're coupled and you're there's stuff going on and you're just starting to have a lot of fear and doubts about things, maybe even suspicions, um, or you could be completely single and you're just caught up in sort of like the pains and the traumas of the past and letting that hold you back from moving forward. Whatever it is, this card is basically saying that these types of thoughts are addictive and it can become addictive behavior to be thinking in this way. And it's really important today to really break that down, take off the mask, step out of the fears because that's all they really are. They are negative fear-based thoughts. Um, or you could be focusing a lot on finances and things like that too in regards to relationships, but whatever it is, it's like it's too much negativity being focused into these relationships. And as a result, it's causing a negative effect or it will cause a negative effect in the relationship. So in order to really change the energy or the issues that's going on in these relationships right now, you need to step out of this negative fear-based energy. So it's very much like within your power and your control to turn around the vibe and the connection that's going on in the relationship right now because... It's basically like a law of attraction as you're running away with all these thoughts and these fears, you're vibrating that and you're creating more of it. So here with the six of water, it says memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. So this can suggest that maybe you're being a little nostalgic, maybe you're looking back, way back when things were great and it was the honeymoon phase or whatever it is, you can connect this to the fear-based thoughts by maybe feeling a little bit like I wish it was like the way it was then. But this card is also about wearing rose-tinted glasses. We can look back into the past and see it as better than what it perhaps was. Comparing things also, rather than being realistic and living in the now and just trying to find the beauty in the moments now and by keeping things positive and optimistic, that really allows you to break free and actually make things better. But also the Six of Water is a reconciliation card. So if there's been some kind of breakdown or break up, um, this could symbolize that this could be coming back together. And it's also the Soulmate card, especially when it's paired with the Two of Water. The Two of Water is also the soulmate card so maybe someone new has come into your life and or there's some kind of offer coming. The six of water and the two of water really represents an offer. Maybe someone's gonna reach out, communicate about going to the next level, the next level of commitment, someone becoming your boyfriend, girlfriend, getting engaged, moving in together, getting married, all of that type of stuff. It very much represents moving to that level or someone is thinking about it or maybe someone's having fears about that stuff, okay? So it's saying here straight up that, yep, like things could be moving to the next level, but this does involve a partnership a significant partnership. It says here, a relationship continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. So like I said, maybe something has happened here. Maybe things aren't feeling great and it's letting you know once you step out of these fear-based energies, you're gonna see things start to settle down and become better again. 
The bonus card was the Knight of Water, which is suggesting to me that there's some kind of message, some kind of offer coming in here to do with love, to fix this, to heal this, to move things forward. So whether it's a breakdown, a breakup, a reconciliation, a commitment, moving things to the next level, or a new love coming in, it's letting you know that there's forward progress in regards to this. It says falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So big message there too, the need to balance emotions, not leaning into the fears and the negatives, getting things balanced out and being more positive and optimistic. So that was that part of the reading. Now let's go to the oracles where we have past life issue. So it says the situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn and heal from these past experiences. So remember I was saying these are very much soulmate based cards. So this really could suggest that the person in question or on your mind right now is someone that you've had past lives with. This can be someone who is a soulmate. And these cards, um, the two of water, I just dropped the other one, and the six of water do not suggest that this is a karmic relationship, which means it's something that's bound to end or something that has lessons to be learned in pain. These two cards really represent more an actual soulmate ah, relationship. So this could be what is being symbolized here. It's letting you know, like, look, you guys have, like, really been through it together. You've made a deal with each other and many lifetimes ago that you were going to, like, always meet up, blah, blah, blah. It could also be saying that this is someone coming back from your past because that's what the Six of Water is about. It can be someone coming back from the past. It can be reconciliation. So just take whatever way you resonate with that. And then uh, we have the Angel Love Oracles. We actually got two cards here as well rather than one. So first of all... We had career and finances, and I thought this was pretty interesting considering we had the ego card come out, which is also about having those um, fear-based energies around material things. So perhaps what is happening here in your relationship right now is there's too much worry and negativity and fears being poured into uh, financial struggles or careers and all that stuff. It's creating some kind of imbalance in your love life, in your romantic life. So it says financial issues are a factor in your life right now. We also got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like we do this by trying to find that balance, by trying to step out of this negativity and these fears and these doubts and really work on this kind of reconciliation and healing and moving forward and making things better by not being stuck in the negative energies, but choosing to be optimistic, choosing to believe, choosing to like move forward. Forward movement is going on here. So get those emotions balanced and in check and things will move forward really well for you. And then finally, the affirmation for the day, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So this really seals the deal. This ties it all together for me. This is truly about stepping away from the fear and the doubt and the worries and the what ifs. And it's about stepping into that place, taking off this mask, this fear-based energy, stepping in this place of wanting to see your world and your situation through love, through positivity, through gratitude, through learning lessons rather than feeling like the world is against you, through seeing that everything is to better you and make you stronger and for your own growth and then to give thanks for it. So whenever you really focus that way, your whole entire energy shifts and all the relationships around you shift for the better. So see the world through the lens of love, not fear. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's horoscope. Once again, please take advantage of those Cyber Monday sales. They are huge. They're not going to stick around and you're not going to see that again for a long time. <laughs> Other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's horoscope and I look forward to bringing your horoscope tomorrow. Bye.